Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account, and as we continue to get more heroes within AFK Arena, the meta comps do change in here. When it comes to the Twisted Realm and the Cursed Realm, we have seen some updates. I'm gonna go through the Cursed Realm today with Kane, guys. You can see I did use one single attempt. We got to the top eight, which I absolutely love. As long as I'm top 20 or better, that, that's kind of the sweet spot because I don't put too much into AFK Arena. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you the teams that I'm using. I'm going to show you the top teams within the leaderboard and what they're using. And then I'm also going to show you um, Jason Lee and in seasons version. So you kind of have the alt comps within here. So looking at our very first team here, guys, um, kind of a very interesting team. So this relies on Orthos and Taylene. When Orthos ults, because he has built out, Taylene will actually move. We have Silas in here for the damage buff that he is going to provide on Taylene. We have Aziz in here for the damage reduction, um, the attack rating reduction, and also the energy regeneration. Then, of course, Scrag, because all of these heroes will be on the enemy side. So they'll be providing, Scrag will be providing a attack boost, um, an energy regeneration, and a um, damage debuffer within there, which, which I absolutely love. Second team, guys, you can see we have Anasa has moved into a formation. That is right, guys. She is in this formation. So we have Hodgkin and we have Helos in here, both really crowd control buffers. We have Moreal that is going to continue to do a significant amount of damage moving this crowd around. Damon in here, of course, a very, very strong tank. And then Anasa, I know we don't have the furniture, but she does provide a considerable amount of damage in here. Some of these are pretty RNG. If you don't have her built, again, we're going to go over a couple variations that you can put within this team. But guys, this is running at the top best in slot tier comps that we have. Looking at our third team, this is the old traditional one that we've had. So we have Kren for the crowd control, Oden for the crowd control, um, Izold with the healing ability and the scaling ability to actually hold this team in the back. Then we have Mortis and the Twins in there, of course, for the linking and also for the buffing and the haste, making this a very crucial team, guys. Kren does an incredible amount of damage. I wish I had his engraving up a little bit higher um, to really maximize the damage he is doing in here. Same with Oden. I feel like this team could be pushing a lot harder than I actually do have them built. Looking at our fourth team, pretty expensive team here, guys. We have Mishka and we have Soros. We have Raku. We have um, Leonardo and we do have... Hazard in here. This is a major crowd control team, guys. Mishka crowd control, Raku crowd control, and then of course Kazard extending the crowd control with Leonardo and everybody else within here. Very, very good team. Now this one again does take a little bit of RNG to really get this one to work. Um, I, I haven't had very much luck with it. I was kind of looking at, at a couple different formations in here, but this is really the one to go to, guys. And as you can see, they have the plus 30 signature items. We do have the 9 of 9 furniture on this team, so they are pretty well built out. This team is Brutus. That is right, guys. I picked up the trial version of Brutus. Brutus is a monster, and I never really thought about it or kind of put two and two together. And I got a little short video about this to, um, a little bit later. Is remember Brutus, when he ults, he actually pulls everybody in. Well, Flora has an AoE effect that stacks pretty nice with the pull that uh, Brutus does in there. We also have Queen in there that kind of brings everyone together. We have Frampton, who will do his pile driver effect, again, into an, a stack of enemies with the AoE. Then, of course, Lucretia in there doing the AoE as well. This is a pretty solid synergy team. Um, I, I like the build with the addition of the Awakened Brutus in here. Um, does work incredibly well. Then, of course, guys, the boss fight. We have Scarlet. We have Grez, just like we normally do. This one is about amplifying your damage as soon as possible um, because we know Kane will single target kill everybody out. So even with the very short amount of time that um, Kane will actually be up or that Scarlet will actually be up. She does a billion plus damage, which is absolutely incredible, guys. So I'm going to let this go ahead. We're going to run through here. I want to see what teams are working really well and then what teams can definitely use some help. So you can see, guys, Aziz stacks everybody up right in this middle part, which I love. And then Taylene is free to move when Orthos ults because of the abilities they bring. Keeping everyone on this enemy side, of course, is the utilization of Scrag. Um, allowing him to really amplify and boost the, again, the defense of the team, the attack rating of the team, and also the energy regeneration of the team. 
Guys, I think it's like 100 energy every three seconds with Scrag. I feel like he's somewhat underutilized. And even here, it doesn't seem like Taylene is putting out as much damage as, as I would expect her to do. Um, I do have her engraved. I have her geared up. She, she's pretty well built over here. But you can see Orthos, guys, very cool when he ults. She just continues attacking. She continues ulting, continues with the energy regeneration we have in there. And look at Oscar's knives, guys. They're literally everywhere. But, I mean, 1.2 billion damage already. 1.3, 1.4. Just continuing to scale, guys. They're standing right in Aziz's burning ground, which, of course, is giving that mitigation allowing this team to stay alive as we continue to raise the engraved timer on here. Um, really, really cool to see again how the synergy of the team works and how they kind of do go together. So 2.1, I think we'll have a little bit more. It almost seemed like the damage stopped right there, but 2.1 billion on that one. This one again, this one I'm having some issues um, with, I think, the RNG aspects in here. They, they seem, this team seems to die out pretty quick. Um, it looks like this one, we might have a little bit of better RNG in here. Again, trying to keep these teams together, trying to keep Helos up. Um, Damon does incredibly well, guys. He's a hero that carries so hardcore when you're early game, and then it just continues for the rest of the game. We lost more Rio right there, which we're almost at a billion damage already. Again, I feel like Anastan needs to be a little bit built out a little bit further. Um, same with Damon. 1.1, 1.2. Overall, pretty good damage. They at least some of them survived the entire time. And this one, guys, of course, this is the Kren RNG factor in here. Mortis throws a couple buffs up on there. And here comes Kren's knockback, guys. Getting everyone back into these traps, of course, are going to amplify Kren's damage. Um, we do have Tassie kind of running around. This is kind of the really big RNG factor. But look at it, guys. We're already at almost 2 billion damage with this comp. Uh, twins did go down a little bit early, but it looks like the comp is still doing pretty well, even though we are missing that haste factor. But as soon as Izold die, got, dies, it, it's game over. But again, this was the comp. See, Kazard died off the bat. I know... His crowd control thing, his crowd control ability or his plus 30 signature item will still work in here. So I feel like we're doing a lot better right now than we have in the past. But still, guys, look at that. I feel like the damage isn't there, guys. 518 million on that one. And then Brutus. Guys, the RNG factor of Brutus pulling everyone together in this one. And look at the stack that Flora is damaging in here. It's incredible. This is such a cool, cool combination to see, guys. They do kind of fly all over. It seems like if we if we can keep it together a little bit better, um, team would definitely do some more damage. And then watch Scarlet's damage. Look at that full range of her bolts, guys. 1.2 billion off the bat, which is incredible. Um, she does so much damage so fast. It's very, very cool to see. Definitely just got to focus on continuing to build out some of these um, some of these heroes within these formations, guys. I feel like Anasta building out. So 9.3, which I think was right. So 8 point, nope, 9.3 is still the best. So looking at our leaderboard, guys, um, we're going to look at key right here. Again, look at that 4.83 billion damage. Guys, I'm not even remotely close to that. Same team that we have in here. We have Anasan here, of course, Bill Damon doing almost a billion damage on his own. Right here, of course, Kren, 2.67 billion. Izold is the holder, but he is the damage dealer within there. And again, this one, I, I feel like we need to try to keep um, we need to try to keep some of these heroes up to allow him to really maximize the damage. Awaken Brutus, 1.84 billion. Incredible guys. Even there, I mean 546. 614 there from Flora. And look at that, 1.26 million damage healed. Absolutely incredible with Flora. Then, of course, the boss fight, guys, we cannot see. But you know that they put up an incredible amount of damage, guys. 22.6 billion damage right there. Absolutely incredible. So I have eight more attempts in this. 
Um, I am in the top eight. I hope to get a little bit more with the RNG factor, but let's hop over and take oh, a look at Jason Lee and In Seasons Guide. All right, guys, like we always do, I'm gonna put this up over, I'm gonna put the link underneath the video. You can see guys, we were using the best in slot um, for a majority of these. Now you can see if you don't have Orthos, you can pop it on Tundra. Changes a little bit, especially if you get down here, you have Hodgkin changing a couple formations. But looking even at the alternative four is using um, Hodgkin and a couple other best in slot formations. So make sure guys you're going through and utilizing the best teams that you can in here. This one, first four comps have Helos um, or all the comps within here do have Helos guys. Super important hero, um, build him up if you do not have him built. A lot of players do not have more real either, which again, if you can merc one of those, if you have the other, we see Hodgkin in here, we have C. Damon in here, and then of course Torn, we have Flora, and then we do have Baden for a little bit of a variation. Um, three, again, we have Oden in here. If you do not have Izold, Baden can go in here. Um, I tried the Baden combination. It seemed to work incredibly well with Izold. But it does show the best in slot is Baden, but the top players within AFK Arena right now are not running this Baden formation. They're actually opting for the Izold formation that we ran within ours. Our four best in slot, again, the exact same team that we're running. I think we just have to keep Raku up a little bit more. Our five, the, the fifth team is very interesting, guys. So you can see best in slot is Sonia. Um, this team has changed an incredible amount throughout the time that they've been around, but this is completely um, a little bit outdated because right now we've seen the Awakened Brutus. This does not include Brutus, but you can see kind of going through the substitute line in here, depending on who you have. If you don't have Sonya, go to Aziz. If you don't have that, go to the Awakened version of Taylene, then Valoris, so on and so forth going down the line. You can see Lucretia, very easy to build. And then, of course, a lot of players don't have Frampton. Frampton does require a significant investment. So you can put Eron in here, and this will essentially be the five pull with Queen, Lucretia, Eron, and Scrath. That will do the five pull for the fifth team. Then, of course, the boss, guys. This is the comp you want to build. Super important to build this one. Again, looking at the Twisted Realm, looking at the Cursed Realm, looking at bosses. Um, this formation is actually used for a majority of the comps that we see in there, which again are very cool. This was updated in May. So it is a um, little bit, I, I think it's about three patches behind. Um, don't have the Awakened Brutus in here. Don't have um, Kayleen in here as of yet, but very, very cool guys. I will put a link again down to this little spreadsheet down below. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.